What do we think of when we hear the word data? We might think of spreadsheets. We might think of cell phone GPS records. We might think of internet traffic. Or we might even think of DNA sequences. All these sources provide very large and complicated data sets to analyze. How do we make sense of large arrays of numbers in columns and rows? Existing methods for studying data sets typically proceed by asking very specific questions of your data. But let's think about the whole problem a little bit differently. Suppose that our data is divided into groups. Let's represent each group by a node. And let's also represent the relationships between the groups by connections between the nodes. Now what we see emerging here, instead of an unstructured mass of numbers, we instead have a kind of shape or network uh, which is really representing the shape of our data. We can now use our visual system to look at the data and identify features in the network which correspond to patterns in the data. These patterns are what we mean when we say extracting knowledge from data. The methodology I've been describing for you is called topology. Topology is the subfield of mathematics that concerns itself with the study of shape, and it has its origins in the 18th century with the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler. Euler became aware of a challenge problem concerning the seven bridges crossing the river Pregel in Königsberg in Old Prussia. The question was, can you stand at the end of one of the bridges, walk across each of the bridges in succession, and return to where you started and cross each bridge exactly once? Now, what Euler did was really extraordinary. He took all the information about the bridges and the river and the islands and land masses and converted it all into a simple network and in doing so, he found that, in fact, it's not possible to walk across all the bridges exactly once. Topology has been studied as part of math for its own sake for the last 250 years. But what's very exciting is that in the last 15 years, we have found that it has applications to many different real-world problems. One of those is the analysis and understanding of high-dimensional and complex data sets. This new area of study is called topological data analysis, and it's changing the way that people are able to understand and analyze their data. There are three big concepts about topology that give it its power for analyzing and understanding shape. The first one of these properties is called coordinate invariance, and it refers to the fact that topology measures properties of shapes that don't change even as you rotate the shape or maybe change the coordinate system in which you're viewing the shape. The second big property is called deformation invariance. So a property of shapes is said to be deformation invariant if that property doesn't change even though I might stretch or squash the shape without tearing it. Humans are really good at recognizing deformation invariant properties. That ability is what allows us to recognize that a letter A is a letter A no matter what font that letter is written in. Thinking this way can also lead you to some surprising conclusions. For example, that a donut is very much like a coffee cup. The final property is that of compressed representations. Suppose we have in front of us a sphere. That's infinite amounts of information, which is very hard for us to process and understand. On the other hand, suppose I approximate the shape by an icosahedron. It's still very much like a sphere, but now it's represented by a list, a simple list consisting of 12 nodes 30 edges, and 20 faces. The focus on connectivity and continuity information allows topology to recognize patterns in data which make that data relevant. The three fundamental properties combine in very striking ways to allow one to analyze and understand very large and complicated data sets. But this is only the beginning. Topological data analysis represents a fundamental advance in machine learning. In the near future, machines will help humans organize, simplify, and understand their very large and complicated data sets. This partnership between man and machine will have impact for all areas of human endeavor.